Do you know what the permanent Stardust boosted Pokemon are in Pokemon Go? Are you guys familiar with that? Because we have a spotlight hour coming up very soon. And I want to make sure you guys have all the list and to show you what each and effective impact all of these Pokemon can have in Pokemon Go. So with all that said, let's jump right in. Welcome back everybody. Let me know in the comments below. Are you guys excited about spotlight hour in Pokemon Go? Because it is tonight for most of us or maybe some of you guys have already done it. But most importantly, what is going down is the Stardust boosted Pokemon, which is going to be Paris. Paris is one that you guys have heard me talk about in multiple videos, especially for this event tip video where we did talk about the permanently boosted Stardust Pokemon. I don't know if I would consider them definitely permanent, but as of right now, they are boosted and they can definitely change. But I want to make sure you guys have the entire list. And then once we have the list, we're going to go over how how and what the most impactful places to get these Pokemon are for the bonuses that will contribute. Because there are places that will make the most sense for these Pokemon, such as Audino. If we were able to get it in research tasks ever again, and then you save it for a Calm Day three times catch Stardust, my goodness gracious, this will be insane. All right, so with this said, let me give you all the Pokemon that are currently boosted and what their current boosts are. And then we will jump into what their Stardust ratios look like. The first Pokemon is going to be Paris. Paris is going to be a 500 Stardust boosted Pokemon. And I'm just going to give you, you guys can pause here if you want to check out all the numbers, with a star piece and a weather boost as the second value, which will be 938. Yes, almost 1,000 Stardust per catch with that Pokemon. And then we have Parasect, which is going to be 700. With the both combinations, it's going to be 1312. And then we have Meowth for 500 and 938. And then we have Persian for 700 and 1312 again. And then we have the Alolan Meowth. You add 50 here, so 750 for 14 106 Stardust per catch on this one. And then the Persian, 950 and 1,781. And then we have Shelter, which is going to be 1,000 and 1,875 per catch. If you guys do want to check out me catching the Shelters with the Weather Boost, you can check it out up here from the Canto Tour in Monterey, Mexico. And then we have 1,200 on the Cloister, 2,250 on the Cloister with the Weather Boost, 750 on the Staryu or 1,406. Star Me is going to be 950 or 1781. Deli Bird is going to be 500 or 938. Shroomish will be 500 or 938. Sableye will be 750 or 1406. Chimeco is 1000 or 1875. Combi is 750 or 1406. Vespa Queen is going to be 950 or 1781. And then we have the Almighty Audino for 2100. This is the top boosted Pokemon Stardust in the game. Or with Weather Boosted and a Star Piece, 3938. Yes, you heard that right. This Pokemon is absolutely bananas. If it ever comes to field research, guys, you highly, highly, highly need to prioritize it in your Pokemon Go career to make sure you capitalize on the Stardust, putting it in your bag, stacking up the field research, and moving on. Trubbish is 750 or 1406. Garbodor is 950 or 1781. Fungus is 500 or 938. And Amoongus is 71312. So for all these Pokemon guys, brand them into your brain every single time you see one of them. If it's just in the wild, if it's on your nearby, please do a little diversion, catch these Pokemon, put it in your bag because they are definitely worth it. So I wanted to go over the next thing, guys, with you. So this is gonna be taking all these Pokemon Pokemon and then putting it on a two times catch Stardust or a three times catch Stardust. So the bonuses usually are for Spotlight Hour, we have the two times catch Stardust. And for Calm Day, we have three times catch Stardust. Granted, most of these Pokemon are probably not going to make their way into Calm Days. Maybe one or two would. But the most important thing is putting them in your bag as field research tasks, which granted you will not be able to get it with the weather boost. But just to put into perspective, it is very valuable. And if they ever do come for any of these other things, I want to make sure you guys know exactly what's going on here. So as we did go down all the values, if you want to pause here and save my charts, you can do so so you know exactly what you're getting. We have the boost 500, 700, 750, 900, 950, 1,000, 1,200, and 2,100. You can see the entire tier list with the weather boost, with the star piece, with the star piece and weather boost, you can see that there. And then let's just take that star piece and weather boost and let's multiply it by two times catch Stardust, right? So this is gonna be spotlight hour for whatever's going on. You can even save some of these field research tasks and save them up for the spotlight hours as well. Obviously, it would be much better warranted to save them for the three times catch Stardust. The one thing I'm gonna point out here is that if 
you are playing during these days. And if you are pulling them from field research, they will not be able to get the weather boost, so they're not gonna be exactly at where we're at. So guys, if we are looking at right here, let's just take it for the two times catch Stardust. Let's say these Pokemon are featured during the spotlight hours, right? So on that 500, we're looking at 1875. On the 700, we are looking at 2625. On the 750, we're looking at 2813. If you guys do wanna watch me play the Meowth Spotlight Hour, it was amazing. Check it out up here. That one also has a permanently boosted shiny rate as well. So not only are you getting Stardust boost, we are also getting shiny rate boost as well. That's an amazing Pokemon for both of those scenarios. Then we're looking at 900 for 3375. Then we're looking at 950. Then we're looking at the 1000 for 3750, 1200 for 4500, and 2100 for 7875. Holy smokes. Then if we were to take these, and let's say we were going to put them at calm days, and they were actually a calm day Pokemon with three times catch Stardust, which is probably pretty rare. Let's just check out maybe the 500, which would be 2813. Then we look at the 1,000 for like a Chimeco for 5,625. And then finally, if we're looking at Audino, this one blows my mind every single time. 11,813. Teen. No joke, that is insane. But let's just take it for, these are in the field research. We catch them on the three times catch Stardust on the calm day. Look at everything in all right category. We have 2250 for the 500, that's a lot of Stardust still. 700 is going to 3150. 750, 3375. 900 is gonna be 4050. 950 is gonna be 4275. 1000 is gonna be 4500. Gosh, that's insane. That's a Chimeco right there. If you ever get Chimeco in field research and this is ever applicable, save it, put it in the bag, run from that field research and catch it during the three times catch Stardust on the calm day bonus. 1200 is gonna be 5400 and then finally we have the Audino, the ultimate holy grail Stardust Pokemon from any time in a field research task. We did get it at one point. It's not common, it doesn't happen often but if it ever does happen, 2100 will go into 9450 Stardust per catch. If you multiply that 100, let's say you go gung-ho, let's say it's a weak event, you're able to get 100, guys. We are looking at almost a million Stardust from 100 right there. At 945,000 Stardust if you were to put in that OT grind. Granted, a lot of these Pokemon, when they do come through the tasks, are extremely rare, so we're gonna have to take that into account, but at the same time, I wanna make sure you guys know exactly what's going on with all these Pokemon. So just a refresher, appreciate you guys being here as always. Make sure to hit that thumbs up if you appreciate this content, and definitely keep those notifications on. I appreciate you guys being here as always to all my likers, commenters, subscribers, Patreon members. Everybody takes their support, subscription, participation to the next level. I'm gonna see you guys out on the next video. Peace. I want to take this time to thank everybody who supports me in every facet. It means the world to me and an extra special thank you to all my Patreons. I greatly appreciate the extra support to continue to allow me to pursue Pokemon Go full time, allowing me to create my daily video uploads in the most timely fashion for everyone's benefit. Plus, I get the amazing experience of sharing my creative processes behind the scenes and raiding all around the globe with select upper tiers. Thank you everybody for being a part of the Trainer Club. You all mean the absolute world to me, and I will see you guys out on the next video.